Here is a normal kidney on the lower part of the screen, and here is an abnormal kidney on the upper part. The upper part uh, we will explain in more detail about the substance uh, at hand. Let's zoom in a little bit on the normal kidney. And uh, anywhere you go in this cortex, you can see, oh, here perhaps part of a glomerulus. You can see chiefly proximal convoluted tubules. Uh, most of these are proximal convoluted tubules. Here's another uh, portion of a glomerulus here. Uh, here's a small blood vessel. Uh, the tubules which appear to possibly have a bigger lumen uh, here's here's another a really nice uh, textbook glomerulus. Here's another one. Most of these are proximal tubules. It looks like this may be a distal tubule here, because there is a, a relatively wider lumen. Perhaps this is one, and perhaps this is one also. This is a normal kidney. Here's our abnormal kidney in question, and let's uh, zoom in on it. In fact, uh, let's zoom in on it uh, in a big way. And I think we could recognize it as kidney. I think we could see some glomeruli. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But notice there seems to be very pale areas around these glomeruli. And why is it pale? Well, it's pale because the tubules are necrotic. And in these necrotic tubules, you can no longer see a good uh, nuclear definition. It's as though the whole tubule is uh, degenerated, uh, coagulative necrosis, and the cells have basically broken down. Uh, the two uh, main classifications of acute tubular necrosis are toxic as well as vascular. There are certain toxic compounds that can cause damage and death to these tubules and also a very significant lack of blood flow uh, as in shock can cause it as well. Often acute tubular necrosis is uh, one of the very last things uh, to happen uh, in a person's uh, life. Um, thank you very much.